hi, I'm David. I'm one of the developers of Scalar and I'd like to quickly run through the main features of Scalar 1.2. The first thing to note is that we've upgraded it already to 1.21. So um, to avoid any confusion, you just need to log on to your Plugin Boutique account, go to My Products, uh, select Mac or PC and download and you'll now have version 1.2.1 as of the end of April 2018. So let's have a look at some of the features. There's a lot of new features um, in Scalar 1.2 and you'll see them in the release notes. So I'll ask you, um, you users to go through and just check out. There's, there's loads and loads of new features. I just want to take you through the main ones. There's a new centralized settings menu and we see a couple of the main features there. All these features here are new, but I want to talk about the humanize and the export note duration options. Um, firstly, you can, if you have humanize turned on, it will humanize um, the velocity of each note within each chords and it certainly adds for a nice randomization to a, a bit more of a naturally played field. Let's actually go to one of the new chord sets, which is the um, uh, J-pop and K-pop chord sets. And you'll see that when I'm playing one chord over and over again, it's playing all the notes quite differently, the velocities. So as for a more kind of, you know, believable playing style. Um, that actually also transcends to when you export. Um, the other thing you'll note is that another heavily requested feature is that the notes um, play on mouse duration. So that is if I just touch the mouse, it plays it with a very short release. And then if I hold down, it sustains the note. Uh, so if I now export that MIDI, you'll see that in the actual notes, it has retained the randomization of each note. So the velocities of each note is different. Um, one of the other heavily requested features was the ability to change the export um, length. Um, so let's say I go to another of the new chord sets in 1.2 Neo Soul. Um, and if I was to drag them down to the chord builder, um, the other thing to note is that the chord builder now has 16 slots. So you can uh, create larger chord progressions just by simply coming over here to the chord builder and hitting the number two and then populating that second part. Um, the actual uh, scalar play loop feature now actually syncs to your door tempo. So you're at 120, it'll actually play at 120. So you can see it automatically wrapped around. So um, we were actually limiting the exporting duration of each chord to quarter notes, but now in the settings menu, you can actually change that. You can change to eighth, quarter, half, whole, or double. So uh, my preference is whole. So when I export, as you saw previously, you can see that it's actually exporting it as, um, as whole notes, uh, which gives you much more flexibility in um, uh, changing how you want your chords exported. You could go eighth, and now if I export those chords, you can see that they will actually now export as eighth notes. So apart from the new Neo Soul chord sets, you've also got the um, J-pop and K-pop chord sets, which are really great. Uh, and we've added a bunch of new scales too. So you can see here, um, we've got Neapolitan scales, we've got acoustic scales, we've got Hungarian scales, and a bunch of new scale types. So as I said, download version 1.2.1 you should be up to now. Also have a good look through the release notes. There's plenty of other upgrades and updates. Thank you for continuing to support Scalar. We're working on a 1.3 version which has some awesome new features as well. And we're hoping to aim for that for the latter part of the year.